day, baby. Stay tuned. I hope you enjoy the ride up. So guys, I apologise for any of the wind noise in advance. We're up at Bank de Nord. I've decided to come off here. It's blowing a southwest wind at the moment. So it's probably a good idea because we're sheltered from the island this side. Though this isn't a predominantly a low water mark. This is more a high water mark. But you do still get them. So I've had most of my brill off here, guys. So you get a few brill off here as well. So uh, stay tuned. We've got the rods out. I'll give you a run through the baits. And then uh, hopefully we get a few flats. That's what we want, turbo werbos, baby. Let's get them. Well, guys, first drop, we got a decent fish on here. Decent at the start. There was some weight there. Nice bend in the rod. At the start, it felt like a turbot, but now, I'm not sure. It's gonna get caught up in more of a line. Yeah, it's a turbot, guys. Oh no, my net's caught. Straight in, guys, there we are. Turbo Werbo, straight in the top of the mouth. Look at that for a hookup, guys. Check that out, I'll leave it in, look. At the mackerel, straight in the top. Look, check that out, baby. Whoa. Anyway, stay tuned. I'll get him off the hook. Give you a better glimpse of him. It's glorious. Yes, first drop, turbo werbo. So, guys, as you can see there, beautiful hookup. Look, straight in the bottom of the mouth. That is a beautiful hookup. Check that out. Uh, that's fantastic. Beautiful fish, turbo. Absolutely beautiful. Put the hook out. And that's the hook that popped out, guys. Check that out. It's a beautiful little turbot. About three pounds. Anyway, stay tuned, get a bit photo of it, and get back down there. Good start. Could be a good day. So, guys, I couldn't get the camera on in time. I thought it was a turbot, I'm not going to lie. It's only a little doggy. God, that rod. I'd hate to see what that rod's going to look like if I get a big one on. He just bit himself. He tried biting me there, guys. Nearly had me. Beautiful little dogfish, though. So stay tuned. Get him off the hook. Give you a better glimpse of him. It's glorious. There you are, guys. There's a glimpse of him. I'm going to go and chuck him straight back now before he leaks everywhere. Go get another turbot. So, guys, third fish. Another doggy woggy there. Not what we want, but hey, unfortunately, these are gonna happen. Um, so what I'm gonna do, guys, get him off the hook. Well, I'll do that now, bugger it. Gonna try and whip me. 
There we are. He's off, guys. There he is. Give him a chop back right now and he'll go safe and sound. Anyway, hopefully, we'll get a turbo again. So, guys, just had a bite on this rod. On the mackerel. Feels like a dogfish, guys. Gonna get played with these. I think it's a dogfish. By well, the way, it's slack line, man. It's more than likely a dogfish. Turbot will keep a tight line. Look at that guys, he's not even hooked. He weren't even hooked. He was just hanging on to the mackerel. Little bugger. Anyway, hopefully we get another turbo. Push on guys, this feels more like a turbo. Oh yeah, I hope so, it's a bloody big doggy if it is, a dogfish. This is just fighting in the top. I don't know with this rod guy. I would call it a turbot, but now... Yeah, that can't be a dogfish. It is, Jesus, it's going well. What is it? A dogfish? A doggy? Caught wheeling up guys! There he is, straight in the side of the mouth! Oh, that rod certainly bends, like I say I wouldn't like to catch a 15 pound turbot on it! Anyway, let's get this one off the hook! As you all know guys, oh he nearly had me! Grab him by the tail, that way he can't whip you. Just watch his teeth, obviously. And there we are, guys, simple as that. Anyway, let's get him back in the water. Let's try for another turbo. Beautiful doggy. Back he goes. Let's go and get him. Fish on again, guys. This is on a live sand eel, this. Might not be dragged a bit. Now what's it gonna be? And of course it's the doggy. Getting absolutely plagued by these now, guys. There he is. Here you are. He regurgitated it. He didn't even swallow it, guys. There's loads of dogfish up here at the moment. Absolutely loads of them. We're not going to send these back now. I'm going to start keeping some of these for pot bay. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately, he's sacrificed. Let's get another turbo or a brill, hopefully. So guys, I was just going up for another drift. I've just made a stop off because we're on the head here. Just get some bait. John. Yeah. Let's get some bait, guys. It's good to have a different variety. Oh, some sandy up there. Bait on the banks now, boys. There was a period where we didn't have any uh, the past few weeks. There's a, there's a good amount of bait on the banks now. Come off. 
Alright. Be nice to get a few mackerel, something like that, you know. Just for a bottom bait. How was that? Well, guys, as you can see, we've got a dolphin off here with us, baby. Bloody made me jump when it came out the water. Well, nice to see. Seagulls, as usual, guys, get some flats. say that and it always seems to be one so maybe a doggy it's quite a bit of weight there though for a doggy should be coming up any second guys this can't be a doggy oh no my other line I think I've caught it. Oh, and it's a turbot. Not a bad one as well, guys. And we're in the bag. Drop the bloody net then. Now it's caught my other turbot line, but hell. That's great, other turbo, baby. Oh. That's a bit bigger. long that guys she's a beautiful looking fish look check that out turbo wars baby that's how we do it stay tuned i'm gonna get it off the hook and we'll get a couple of pictures of it Woo! turbo wars baby that's a sample fish Now I've got to sort this mess out, guys. <laughs> hey guys, we're up here. There's another drift. Check that out. Look, you can see the overfalls on the horizon there. That's where we'll be going over the head of the bank. Anyway, we got turbo werbos, baby. Couple of turbos. And, uh, yeah, the rods are out. These are, this is the bait that I'm using, guys. I'm using mackerel, garfish, and sand eels, which is in the cooge there, so... Hopefully, well, not hopefully, it's doing the business. Just hopefully we can get a Brillo Willow. That'd be nice to see, guys. Oh, well, hopefully we get one. Uh, Zeos, which sadly we lost for a stir. Um, strike it lucky, going live with Gordon the Gopher. They were popular on the TV. And Dirty Dancing with, with Nail and I, a Facebook action for a at the box office. Any ideas? Well, there's the overfalls, guys. We'll be going over them shortly, and it's going to get rough. So guys, while we're waiting here and we're waiting for a turbo, I'll just give you a quick of the run through of the uh, rods that I'm using, the rods and the reels. Uh, on this one, this is called a Shakespeare Sigma Supra. It's a seven foot boat rod, 20 pound class. And we're just using the Pen Squall 20s. Uh, I use these on all my rods. Uh, this has got 40 pound main line on. Oh, 40 pound main line on guys. And then that is a Graze rod, a Graze Advent it's called. And uh, yeah, same again, Squall, Pen Squall 20. And uh, yeah, loaded with 40 pound mono as well. So stay tuned. Hopefully one of these rods goes ballistic soon. We get another turbo or a brill. 
I want a brill. So guys, that's another episode. Been glorious. Well, for the turbot fishing anyway. Uh, I'm going to start making my way in now. The tide is absolutely ripping through here. It's doing about two and a half, three knots. Now that is not ideal for turbot. Uh, that's far too fast. And uh, yeah, so there's no point in even staying up here, guys. So we're going to start making our way home. Um, we might have a little drop off for mackerel fishing so we can get some mackerel, but we'll see about that on the way in. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the ride in. Been glorious, baby. Turbo Werbos. fishing two turbo werbos baby so not a bad day at least we managed to get some of these fine fish but shame there's no brillo willows around but hopefully they get a bit bigger next time guys i mean this one's about four or five pounds this was about three pound so yeah they're plate sized fish they're nice so uh yeah like i said hopefully we get a few brills next time bloody dying for a brill anyway if you like the channel guys like subscribe there's going to be plenty more. Uh, I hope the forward-facing camera is working a lot better on this new iPhone 11 compared to the iPhone 8. I think it works in 1080p, the front-facing camera, where the other one only used to do 720p. So, yeah, if you like the channel, like, subscribe. There's going to be more fishing and turbot fishing adventures, and we'll see you on the next one. Some glorious fishing. Thanks for watching, guys.